are brave, innovative, everywhere. We are Sabrek. Digital banking fraud has increased by over 100% from 2017 to 2018. And just in 2018, there were over 8,000 reported incidents. Digital banking crime is very real, and it happens a lot more often than we realize. Sabric CEO Kalyani Pele is back in the loft to discuss how to change banking, banking details safely and what we need to do to prevent us from becoming a victim of fraud. Welcome to the loft. Thank you, Bonnie. Lovely to have you with us. Thank you. Um, so this is this is as scary as this is it's becoming more and more prevalent absolutely why is it so easy to fall victim to a scam when changing banking details what happens is that the criminals obviously know that um, if they tell somebody purport to be a particular company or someone that they know their victim owes money to um, they know that if they send a communication um, advising that the bank account details have changed and that the money needs to be paid into this new bank account, there's a chance that somebody would believe them, a mm. few people at least, and of course it becomes lucrative, even if it's just a few people that actually wow. do that. And so what happens is that they couch their communications um, in a way that's very believable. Um, they would use the brand, if they're purporting to be a particular company, um, they would use the brand of that company the email would come from, uh, if it's an email, it'll come from an address that looks like it's the authentic yeah. one. So sometimes, as an example, instead of it having .co.za at the end of the email address, it could have .com. Now, you and I, when we receive an email and it looks like it's coming from who we think it's supposed to come from, we don't look to the detail at the details of the email address mm. itself. Sometimes it may be one alphabet in that whole email address oh, that is that's wrong. changed. Yeah. So you don't realize at that time that you've received it from someone else. Yeah. So what we say to people all the time, whenever, and this is for individuals, this is for businesses, this is for anybody, Whenever you receive a communication advising that whoever you're supposed to be paying money to has changed their bank account details or changed their bank account and that this is now the new account details that you need to pay money into, yeah. stop. Stop. Make inquiries immediately. Don't just go and adjust and update your, your, your contact details yeah. so that you pay to this new account. Because what happens is all the people that have become victim, victims of this particular type of crime have actually paid the monies over to the fraudsters. They still owe the money to who to they're the original supposed people to be supposed because to they be. haven't actually paid it there. Yeah. And that's why we, we urge people to make sure, especially businesses we find, is that you need to know who you're dealing with in a company that you have a, trans yeah. uh, you know, you have a relationship with, especially if you're paying regularly. Um, Know who, know a person, know the contact person, mm. and when you receive that particular communication. Which this, usually comes by mail it, or it letter often, even? It, it often comes by email because that's how okay. people communicate these days. It could come by a letter, it could come by a phone call oh, as so well. Yes, yeah. But what, what we, I'd like people to, to remember is that when you receive this communication, whether yes. by letter or by email, they usually our contact details on that, you know, phone number, because yeah. they're making it look authentic. Yes. Don't call the number on that communication to find out if, in fact, that account detail has changed, because you're talking to the criminal. Wow. They're going to be putting their details on. You need to make the call to the company that you do that, that, you, that you're oh, dealing yeah. with and to somebody in that company that you are familiar yeah. with and that with using a number that you originally had, yeah. not the one from the communication. So it's just about being you know, alert all the time. Yeah. Uh, it's very important not to just believe the communication and start changing the details. Yeah. And it's also important for companies to make sure they train their staff in their accounts divisions as well. Also, we always talk about identity theft and we talk about individuals, you and I, saving uh, and looking after our, our personal information. But companies need to do the same. They need to look after company information. Don't just throw uh, company invoices or documents out because c uh, criminals actually collect that. Then they know who owes you money and so they know who to contact 
uh, and ask them to yeah. pay into a new bank yeah. account. So just very important. How yeah. easy it is, is it for criminals to get information on who, who we owe money to or what accounts we have with who? Well, look, there's various ways that yeah. they can do it. Some of it could be by collusion, if they're colluding with anybody right. in particular companies. The human element can never, ever be uh, mm. ignored. Um, other ways is they could they could be hacking into accounts. They could mm. um, um, send out phishing emails. Sometimes what they've done is that they'd make a phone call to a particular, if they suspect that, people may be owing money to a particular company, but they're not sure if this is still a current, uh, a current account, they'd call. So if you receive a phone call saying, uh, do you owe ABC stores money and when have you last paid? Or I am from ABC stores, uh, I'm just checking when you last paid us. And then you may say, oh, but I paid you last month. So now immediately they know you're a current client. Yeah. Um, or if you say, gosh, I haven't paid them in a year, I don't yes. have an account, then they just eliminate you from their yeah. list. So it's those kind of little pointers that you always need to be um, uh, vigilant about, about and sort of, yeah. you know, be suspicious about. It. What preventative measures can we put in place to protect ourselves in these scams? I think, as I said, you know, just remember the minute you get any communication, whether by phone call, whether by letter, whether by email, telling you that a particular company or person that you owe money to has changed their bank account details, be suspicious immediately yeah. and take all the precautions to verify that in fact it has actually happened. And again, speak to someone you know and not to anyone whose references on right. that communication. And if we suspect we've fallen victim to such a scam, how can we reverse it? Well, police immediately, yeah. right, because it's fraud. So you need to let the police know immediately. Um, and of course, you know, from a civil point of view, only if the person is known, because quite often they would uh, use other people's bank accounts yes, as money is even gone. But if, for any, uh, if, if the person you're able to determine whose account it went to and the police are able to find them, while the criminal matter is happening, you could always use the civil route to try and recover funds. But that's really a long shot. A long process, yeah. 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 Well, thank you so much again for uh, informing us on how we can better protect ourselves. Thank you, Kiliana. So you can certainly never be too careful. Now, another scary statistic is that 1 in 15 people are victims of identity fraud. So join us next week when Kiliana explains identity theft and what we can do step by step and be step ahead of the criminals.